Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. Guys, this is your weekly oracle card reading for August the 20th through the 26th of 2018. And, 26th of, and the 26th is the corn moon. So this week I am using um, Antonio's deck, uh, Crystal Wind. And the artwork is by Lisa Iris. And I just got word from her, Lisa, that there is going to be a new deck of Crystal Wind. And I think they updated the back of their card. So she seemed to be that deck over so I can use. I do appreciate that um, very much. Since these readings that I'm doing with this deck goes on their website. So please go over and check out crystalwind.ca. Uh, it's a big, gigantic website with lots and lots of knowledge. It's Antonio's website. It's tons and tons of information over there on many, many different subjects um, spread out through, you know, pagan and Wiccan and horoscopes and astrology and and Native American and, and metaphysical and just so much to read and learn over there at the website. So let's get started. And I will be drawing the three cards. And we're going to see what information wants to come through this week, uh, guys. And yes. I think Mercury went is out of retrograde, thank goodness. Now my electronics will you know can go back to uh <coughs> doing the normal thing instead of you know weirding out on me. Thank goodness for that. I think it went direct, was it on the 18th or the 19th? It was one of is the either was the 18th or the 19th that went direct. I'm thinking it was the 19th, so so happy about that. Uh, got a lot of weird things going on. So let's see what information messages want to come through. The beautiful deck of the crystal wind. This will be card number one. Card number two. And card number three. And guys, I just want to say um, thank you, uh, new YouTube subscribers. Thank you to the ones that have been with me. Um, I do appreciate it. I do have some ordered some more of these rings. Thank you guys for all the support um, that I'm giving away. These have real copper in them. So if you know anyone that has arthritis in their fingers or anything, this will be great for them. Um, it does have this is a real copper ring it does have copper in it and it is adjustable so if you'd like to get one of these free you just pay for shipping and you know it's yours free i love giving away free things and i do it often here and we're going to start doing it more often as we go on so let's see what's on the card number one so relax take a deep breath pick out your pick out your card pick out your favorite stone maybe you've already done it you have great are you ready if not pause it until you comfortably you know pick out which one you want or you can just listen to all three messages I'm sure something is going to resonate with you so let's see what we've got for number one the mermaid a serene mermaid drifts can never read these upside down. <laughs> a serene mermaid drifts past the remnants, remnants of an of an age gone by. The mermaid. So let's see what the book has to say about this beautiful card, the mermaid. Just awesome artwork. So. The mermaid. 
this last last week? I think we did get this card last week. Guys, if you notice, I did, I had to cut my nails. I really did have to cut them. So they are short. They were just getting in my way. So I really cut them off and watch. In the next couple of weeks, they will be right back at the same length. They really do grow fast. So let's see what the book has to say about the mermaid. And this is about seduction. So, hmm. A serene mermaid drifts past the rem remnants of an age gone by. So, what is this card telling you? The ideal of mermaid seduction is an ancient one. In stories, poems, and myths, hearing a mermaid song was considered a haunting and hazardous experience. Typically, it lured the listener to toss aside safety and sometimes his or her whole known world and plunge into the waves. Such a leap could bring doom or it could bring salvation. Sometimes it brought both. The mermaid and Emily calls upon the unknown to the impassioned world to change and impassioned world of change and possibility. Ultimately, mermaids resist in the imagination because they represent a primal human need to dive deep in the mystery or of our own lived life. So the expanded meaning here is the power of seduction and temptation is very powerful at this time. You would be wise to look at part at what part of your life remains unfulfilled. You are currently exploring a new path and it could it could prove to be the wrong path. Use discernment and go with the flow and always follow your heart perhaps there is a reason you haven't been tempted enough to follow the song of the siren don't let beauty blind you so what i i'm getting with this card is what is it that you need to look at in your life that currently that maybe you may be feeling like there's a part that's missing in your life that is no that is not being fulfilled um, sometimes we can get that feeling of not being totally fulfilled in life or there's something there's a part that's missing and you just don't know what it is and maybe you need to sit back relax take a deep breath look within yourself and see what it is that that is missing are you hearing the mermaid's call are you hearing the mermaid's call? Is there something that you want to do? This card can go a couple of different ways. Is there something not being fulfilled in your life? And maybe you want to... Uh, I keep going out to the same thing. I think last week when we got this card, uh, the feeling of seduction, sexual desires, uh, need maybe some people want to play the field or the game um, I just have to say that you have to be honest and truthful with yourself and with your partner if you do want to play the field or the game maybe you're not feeling love by the partner that you're with maybe you're not feeling um, a commitment and you want to go you hear the mermaids call this always comes back to seduction and sex and sexual desire for me as what I'm getting and you want to play the game or play the field be truthful and honest with yourself be truthful and honest with your partner if there's something you're not getting in a relationship um, have a sit down and maybe talk it out and figure out where you guys can go and get it better before uh, things go you know too far and go away and fall apart especially if you are in a deep committed that you're in a committed relationship but there's something that's just missing then have a, a talk with your partner um, in the relationship that you're in and um, if you can work things out you can if you can't you can't 
but I just say be truthful and be honest with yourself and the person that you're with before you go looking um, at something else to um, fulfill something that's missing in your life um, or you feel like you're not getting in your relationship and possibly more than likely your partner can fulfill that desire that um, you're not getting so let's see what's under number two believe achieve and receive we've got medicine woman and we have had this card before believe achieve and receive so let's see what medicine woman has to say about believing achieving and receiving that is how you do your manifestation, guys. You believe, you achieve, and then you start to receive and perceive that into your daily life. All right, let's see what the book has to say about Medicine Woman. It's all about manifestation, of course. The Mayan goddess, Itcho, is the goddess of the moon and birth procreation and medicine she is in charge of med medicinal plants healing in the moon phases she embodies spiritual knowledge when she is in is in a good mood she blesses the earth with the rain and she and when she is in a bad mood she sends storms floods and hurricanes the focus on its shell is to help people heal through body work movement therapies life changes and to ultimately find a place within to heal themselves. Itcho is known as the patroness of those who work in the healing arts. So the expanded meaning here is, it is most likely you are a healer or require healing. It may be time for you to heal yourself or visit a healer or herbalist. If you are a healer already, then you are well on your way to helping many others. This card indicates that those who do not think of themselves as healers actually bring wholeness to others. Manifest this ability in yourself. When you believe, you achieve, and you receive. And this goes on many different levels. Not only in the healing aspect of our life. But also in the making your reality what you want it to be. So... For those that are in the healing therapy arts, you know, you are well on your way to healing many different lives that you're going to come into your path. That may, you know, come into your path or wander into your path. And this is absolutely wonderful because when you're healing others, you're also healing yourself. And for those of, uh, those of you that think you are not a healer, you often are a healer just by simply having a conversation with someone you're healing them you're giving them comfort you're giving them knowledge um you know you're giving them advice that is some sort of healing for others you are in need of healing so seek out your shaman seek out an herbalist seek out someone that does reiki or chi energy or prana or body work or body talk there's so many different um, types of energy work out there. You may be in need of doing some, being, you know, letting somebody do some healing on you. Mm. But the, uh, for others, you can manifest this really easily by believing and achieving and receiving that healing energy. Use that mantra in your daily life every day to manifest your reality into what you want not only in the healing aspect but also in the um abundance aspect your professional work aspect what do you want to do start manifesting everything that you want to achieve and accomplish in your life Gossamer wings. 
A bright fairy rises on gossamer wings. Oh, I read that one upside down. Yay! All right. We've had that one too before. Gossamer wings. Talking about fairies and working with the elementals. I love it. So let's see what the book has to say about gossamer wings. <coughs> A new beginning. So, a bright fairy rises on gossamer wings. Fairies are a race of small magical beings that are usually invisible to most of us, but some mortals have these gifts to see them. Fairies have many human qualities. They have plant talents and skills, friends and family. They love and desire. They can be mischievous and troublesome if you do not heed their advice. Fairies fly, change shape, and make themselves invisible to escape human capture. Fairies are complex beings and their behavior is ruled by the moral code that is very different from ours. Despite their minute size and whimsical appearance, these beings have been hidden powers. They have hidden powers that will sway your perception and propel you into action. So the expanded meaning here is it's time to call upon the fairies to help you look for signs such as fairy, fairy circles. The scent of cinnamon, glimpses of fairy glitter, broken twigs in a pattern, the sound of bells and music flutes. Trust the magic you have within you to fly free. It's time for you to take off into a new direction. You are ready to fly even higher in your current direction. The situation is full of promise. Your future begins today. A very bright and lucky card. So to me, this is a prompt yes 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 so you've got the green light you got to go ahead is there something you've been waiting to do this is your yes call this is telling you to take off and do it for those that are um, on their way up to climbing the ladder maybe in your professional job or in your current employment you're going to be reaching new heights for others it's telling you to take a new direction Go for it. There's something you've been wanting to do. Don't wait. This is the time is now. So go for it. You want to take up a new class. You want to go into a new profession. You want to change jobs and try something new and different. This is telling you, yes, you want to go. Some of you may be starting back to school here in August. Taking up new classes to help you in your profession or taking up metaphysical classes it doesn't matter what type of class but what it is you're progressing forth that is the main thing you're progressing forth into your own path and your the growth for yourself that is going to help you you know accomplish the goals and the dreams that you desire and that is a great thing so a wonderful card that is your yes card or whatever it is that you're thinking about or contemplating on if you've been praying meditating anything like that um, go for it so an awesome reading for this week I hope you guys enjoy that I'm gonna leave it with that and I hope this helps you in your journey through life blessings my friends and namaste